Good morning, everyone, um, to another vlog here of Joseph's farm. Today, I'm not actually on the farm, but instead, I am over here waiting at a gas station right in front of the Grizzly Mountain Logging Company. That's the place that I told you guys last time that I'm driving to. So yesterday evening, I took off and I drove uh, close to 12 hours now. Um, but yeah. I'm, I'm been parked here for about 20 minutes, so I'm, I left at 4 p.m. last night. Um, and I'm all the way in Colorado now. Here, it was uh, to this point right here, 726 miles to drive. So that wasn't too bad. And um, I've been reading the email again and so on because I want to make sure that, I, you know, I get the, the, the person's name right. My, my friend's dad from college um, is the one that sent me the, the email. And... Um, it's the, like I mentioned, the Grizzly Mountain Logging Company. And I am waiting on John Cooper. Actually, John Cooper said that when I get here to talk to the front office, and then they're going to give me, you know, some basic safety equipment, a vest, a helmet, and a chainsaw, which is not really a safety equipment, but well, we can we can look around here real quick of all the machinery and stuff that is here. While I wait, uh, the front office doesn't open until 6 a.m., so still have a little bit of time. And I want to sleep for about an hour, have a power nap or something. So, but I wanted to look around first. So there's a couple of tractors here. All right, those are big machines. What are these things here? I think those are sapling planters or something. Okay, we got a big wheel loader. Apparently they just left the forklift. But hey, if the company shuts down, you know, there's probably nobody driving through here. Some supplies, big trucks, lots of logging trailers. And then over here we have another truck with two skid steers. Whoa, what happened here? I hope they didn't damage it. Or maybe they doing this on purpose. I'm not sure. All right, so um, like I said, I'm going to wait until 6 a.m. Shortly after 6. I don't want to just walk in the door as soon as the people start working here. You know, let them get a cup of coffee and settle in first or whatever. But like I said, until then... Do I have a crack in my... No. That's the inside, the, the mirror material. So I'm going to wait here until 6 a.m. I'm just going to have a nap, set my alarm, and then um, go through the the instructions from whoever's in the front office, and they're going to tell me what to do. So we'll see in a minute. Wow, that's uh, 6.45 almost now. That was uh, over half an hour of safety instructions. There was a foreman here. Um, that showed me, you know, all kinds of pamphlets and whatnot, and I need to sign a bunch of documents, uh, liability and whatnot. I'm kind of like a, a subcontractor here. I'm not really employed by them, um, and I'm going to get more details about payment and whatnot from John Cooper himself, and they said to uh, go down the road that I came on and then take the first right, and he's actually at the site already where, um, with his truck and whatnot, and he's going to give me... More instructions and then, you know, actually tell me what I'm, what I'm supposed to do there for them. And I'm excited. Um, I got a nice little steel uh, chainsaw they gave me. It looks pretty new. And that is awesome. Um, yeah, and I got a helmet and a vest, like I said. Um, I have provisions and stuff, food and drink with me that I brought back from back home. Um, I'm actually running a little low, but hopefully I can come back here around lunch or whatever and maybe... Oh, okay, so I'm guessing this is the first, right? Okay, I don't have a map or anything here. Um, my tablet also doesn't work, of course. Because, well, I'm nowhere near my, my Wi-Fi from the farm. So we're gonna just have to figure out everything on our own. Not exactly sure how far to go, but they said it's only a couple minute drive to back there. And yeah, man, lots of trees. <laughs> but I guess that's what they make their money off, right? Just logging and whatnot. Um, they have different types. They they, they bring logs to uh, get cut at the sawmill, which they don't own. The sawmill is but right behind the office there. There was a sawmill and there's another kind of a, a drop-off point or whatever uh, along this road, actually, to the other end, they told me. But I, they always said, if I have questions, always just come to the front office or call them. Um, we do have cell phone reception out here, so that's cool. It's probably antenna somewhere. All right, so, okay, so there's something happening over here. And we'll see. Uh, said to look for the green pickup truck, just like the two they had out there. They have a couple of them. And that is where John Cooper is going to be. All right, let's go slow here. All right, there's some machinery here. Looks like a trailer. Oh, there's the pickup truck right there. So now where should I put my car? 
I don't see him yet. Um, why don't I just park directly in front of this pickup for now? I don't know. I'm pretty sure he's going to tell me where I should park my car. You know, I don't want to get it damaged anyway. Um, falling logs and whatnot. But let's get out of here and see if I can find John Cooper. I had a long chat with John Cooper um, about his son as well, Bradley, and, you know, what he's been up to and so on. And he gave me a big rundown on all the different machinery here. He said, I'll tell you in a second what he wants me to do, but he said all the, all the machineries that is here, this uh, fork with a log grab, I think that's what he called it. Then here is a stump grinder. There is a winch to pull logs, the tractor over here, the skid steer. Everything that I can uh, I can use, I can I'm allowed to use here. Uh, everything that's here, I, I should use and could use if I want to. Um, but what I what he wants me to do is there's a clearing right here that he wants completely all the trees cut, and then also all the stumps ground down. And they would there's a marshland over here. Let's check that out real quick. Let me show you. Um, and he said that they they wanna reforest this or I don't know what they wanna do. But he just told me he wants this clearing here. All the trees cleared out because they want to be able to have access to this, right? And he put out some cones right here for me, some street cones. Um, they go from here all the way to the road. And then over here, you see the other end. Oh, so between the cones and up to the water. So nothing in the water here. He doesn't want me to touch that. They're, they're going to do that themselves. But like these two trees right here, then this one over here is the farthest on the right side. And then I guess... Well, let me not run through the water. I don't want to have wet boots. And I guess this is the farthest on the left. And then maybe this little one here. So everything within these cones. And he wants me to load all these trunks and branches and everything into this wood chipper. And he brought me three trailers because he said that's going to be a lot of wood chips. And I might have to take two trips even. But to just put everything in here. And then drive it over to the sawmill and dump it there. And he's going to split the profits with me 50-50. So all the money I'm making, I have to pay him 50% of that. Which is sounds super fair. I mean, look at the amount of machinery that he lets me have here, right? And I'm doing the work. So I'm, I'm pretty sure this is going to be quite profitable. I'm, I'm hoping. I'm not sure what, what chips are going for. And I can't look it up right now. Oh, yeah. And while I'm staying here the next couple of days, it's going to be a two or three day job, he said. Um, this is the first one of at least two. He might have a third one after that one. It depends um, how quick I am. But anyways, while I'm here, I'm staying on the right side of this trailer right here. So I unload it, park my truck over here, uh, put my laptop and my cell phone on the charge. He also said that if I have any questions or I need anything to call him directly, don't don't call the front office. He's like, you're a friend of my son. You call me directly, which is super nice. Um, and he also said that if I need any food over in the f um, gas station to the front office, the, to the right side of the front office, um, I can just buy food there. It's quite cheap, he said. And it's not its not too bad. Hey, no birdie. Not too good, huh? Got a broken wing? I'm sure that you'll find your way out. But anyway, so we got lots of work to do. And we get to use a chainsaw. Like I said, um, that's the one I got from the front office. And I guess we're going to get... St I'm, I'm not really sure where to get started. I think we're going to get rid of this one right there first. The one that's laying down. But before we do any of this, we're going to have to move this um, tractor up here underneath that. Also, by the way, you guys see everything is quite dirty here. So I think that to leave a good first impression on the first day, I'm going to make sure to wash everything that I can. I don't know if I can pull this thing to the power washer or maybe if I can bring the power washer over to to this uh, um, wood chipper. So let's see here. All right, so this looks good to be right there. And let's uncover this one. So I'm hoping that they will go into there. Well, it looks like this. Yeah, it's overhanging. So um, he gave me a quick rundown on how this thing works. So we have to start the engine. It's self-propelled, apparently. I can even move it around. And then we just turn it on. And everything we put in there. So we need to be very, very careful. I'm out here alone. So that's a big safety concern. So he told me to be super, super careful no matter what I do. All right. So I'm going to have to debranch this one here first. I'm sorry, bird. Watch out. I'm sure you're going to be able to fly in a second when I remove this tree. I'm not going to touch him because 
He might bite me or something. I don't know. Or peck me. I don't think you say bite. All right. And he also said always to cut off the very f tips of it. They're, they're garbage, apparently. So I'm going to have to make this so it's manageable for me to carry. I have no idea how much of this I can carry, right? How, how big are they? So let's just go with nice, slow, small pieces over here. Chainsaw is so much fun. Okay, let's just go to here because I don't know, this last piece here could be quite heavy. So I'm gonna have to check, but let's just see. Let's bring this in. It's gonna be a lot of physical labor. I definitely have to figure out a way. I figured if I load it from here, I should always be... Woo. Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna leave it there. I don't wanna jump up here if I can avoid it because... That's just asking for trouble. If I go right where the big teeth are. Can I toss this one in there? Alright, so is this coming out over here? It is. Alright, so. Sounds pretty easy so far. It's just a lot of physical labor because I gotta carry a ton of wood. But hopefully after this first one. Um, I'm gonna figure, I'm like this close one here. I probably, I don't know. Um. I don't know if I want to actually keep doing this. Or maybe I look, use the the log grab and try... Oh, did I just throw it out on the other side? I did. I don't know my own strength. And the other good thing is also, guys, that I'm getting a little bit of practice. Because you guys remember on the farm that I want to... I want to remove some of these trees that we have. Alright, let's maybe... Oh... Be careful now. I want to remove some of the trees around the... Oh, there we go. Around our two fields. So I can extend them a little bit. So this is definitely going to... Oh, this is the whole tree now. Okay. So it looks like I can cut them about this size here. Just to... You know, I could always, I guess, try a longer one. Sorry, birdie. Watch out. And if I can carry it, I just cut it in half, right? I mean, let's grab it like this. Okay. That's going to be easy money. I hope. Famous last words. Wow, look at that. It's not very dense wood, apparently. I don't know what this is. I have no idea what uh, different trees are. If they're spruce. Or, come on, can you... Grab it? There we go. Or alder, or beech. Well, I guess uh, beech or birch. I would know. Birch is easy to identify because it's the, the white bark tree. Alright, let's see if I can split this in half. Let's see how strong I am. Let's see if I can handle these. The last one wasn't too bad. Alright, this one is too heavy. Alright, bird. You really need to get out of here. And I think I'm going to do all the stump grinding in the very end once we're... Well, I shouldn't say that because in case there is one or two that are in a major pain in the butt for me to drive any of the other machinery through. But like I said, I need to figure out a different way. If I need to do 30 trees this way, I'm, I'm not going to carry this wood from all the way back there. This is kind of the maximum here. I, I don't want to have to carry trees. That's crazy. Well, almost done with the first one. And then I'm kind of interested how far the... The trailer filled up with this one tree here. Because that's going to give me an indicator if it's going to be one or two jobs. Uh, trips, I should say, not jobs. One or two trips with the... Okay, the birdie is finally flying. Yay! Alright, so this is the... I'm going to let the thing run. Wow, look at that. So I'm going to say that's about one-fifth. So I'm going to say five trees per trailer. Alright, so that's definitely going to be two trips. Alright, so. Uh, do I want to see if I can put bigger pieces with the front loader into here? I think we should. I think we should. Okay, so let's go ahead and fell this one first. I want to try to get as much wood out of it as possible. But don't cut it too short so I can easily see them. Ooh, that was close over here. Gotta be more careful. Um, what was I saying? Oh yes, but don't 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 make them too short so I can still see them, but not too long so I can still possibly drive over it with a tractor. You know, have enough clearance. 
All right, and then like always, we saw off the tip. I'll make sure I do what he says. All right, so um, let's come and cut bigger pieces. Like let's cut a piece this big and just leave it at this for now and see if I can manage this uh, easier. I don't know which one I want to use. Okay, I got the front loader here. And I think the skid steer had a log grab on it. Yeah. But the problem is... Well, let's just try it out. Let's start this one. And I just want to see how high does the fork uh, go. This kind of looks like it would be actually long enough to drop... Well, let's just drive over there. Let's see. Because, you know, the smaller machinery is going to make it a lot easier to move around in there instead of the big tractor with the big front load. I don't know. I've never done this. But let's just see. Yeah, this is definitely tall enough. If you look here, I can easily put something in there. But let's just give it a try. All right. Now let's bring this down. Okay, and do I just close this now? Oh boy. Um, there we go. I just opened it a little bit so I can bring it in there a little closer. Okay, I need to climb down on this a little better. Man, this thing has a really bad braking speed. Like, I let go of the the gas and it still keeps rolling that's a little bit dangerous here so I want to be careful okay so yeah if I let this go here it's just gonna fall off to the right isn't it oh okay it stays on there might have to push this in a little bit But that would make this a lot faster and you know what? A lot better on my back if I don't need to carry all these logs. And he said I can use all the machines that are here. Alright, let's push this in very slowly. I don't want to get this jammed up. That would be a bad first impression. Okay. Oh boy, he's not pulling it at all. Oh no! Oh, there we go! There we go! Come on, take it! Yes, yes! Pull it in! Very good! <laughs> We're doing it! Oh, that makes it so much easier. I like this little bobcat. Or skid steer. I guess bobcat is a... I think bobcat is a, a manufacturer, right? Just like people call any kind of tissue a Kleenex. Um, let's cut it about here. It doesn't really matter. All right, and then another one here. And I want to see if maybe this rest over here I can carry. Yes, I can. All right, good. I'm going to load this by hand. You taking it? Yes, it is. Look at that. So it's going to be four pieces um, to put in there. That's That would be very quick and efficient. And I have this done in no time. Famous last words. Alright. You know what? I'm going to keep it like this because the teeth are really seem to be holding this together quite nicely. Yeah, that was famous last words right there. Awesome. Open this a little bit. There we go. Now I got it. So I, I should not hold it by the teeth. Okay. This is quite fun. This is a fun job. I don't know. Maybe, you know, if, if it's raining and muddy and whatnot outside, it's probably not that pleasant. But right now, this is pretty cool. Besides this part, that apparently every one of them I need to push in. I should have made a... I wonder if there's like a, an attachment, a fold-out conveyor belt or something. 
so you can put bigger logs in there. Right, that's about the right height. Get in there. Eat the log. There we go. We got it. All right. Now just one more. And then we got this. And then I'm probably going to stop filming this because I'm probably going to be a little bit faster to just doing this without filming. And then fill you guys in once I made a little bit more progress or maybe once the trailers are full. I'm not sure. But it's going to be a whole day. And I don't think you guys want to watch a 24-hour video. <laughs> Or 12 hours, however long this is going to take me. Alright. Grab this last one. Pick it up. And let it fall. Come on. Let it fall in there. There we go. Very cool. wonder where that dog is. I hope it doesn't run around here. I would hate to hurt a dog. Also, I was asking uh, John Cooper, you know, what about bears and stuff? And he's like, yeah, there's bears out here. There's wolves, coyotes, everything. But with all this heavy machinery around it, they don't, they don't get anywhere near me. So he said not to worry about it. Because otherwise, I probably would have just brought a... Um, or bought, I should say. A bear spray or something. But I believe it. You know, there's a lot of noise going on here. A lot of big yellow machines moving around. Animals probably don't want none of that. Alright, get in there. Very cool. So I wonder when we get back to the farm if we're gonna do wood chipping or if we're gonna try to sell the whole locks. We, I don't know yet. But so, so there's number two. I guess we should do one more thing before I stop uh, recording. And that is actually, I want to try out, let me park this guy over here. Bring this down to the ground. All right, stop moving. Man, these things roll forever. And we're going to pick up the tractor and put the, the thing on here, the winch. I want to see how easy it makes to pull trees out. That's a big tractor. Much bigger than any tractors we have on the farm. But it's cool because you have a really good overview. So, to put this on the back, hopefully I fit here. As a PTO shaft, otherwise, yeah, of course, it won't be able to pull the winch. Okay, so, let's bring that over here, and... I guess it doesn't make any sense to winch the ones here, because I can directly do those with the skid steer. But let's just take a look at how this is going to work for one of the trees farther away. Let's see if we can do that. Bring like this very far one in here. Okay. Alright, let's leave the tractor here for right now. And we're going to cut this one out. He told me make sure don't have any logs fall into that old shed over there. They still use that. All right, and let's clean it up. Finally figured it out why it didn't work. I, I could not get this cable over there. I needed to turn it on from in cap, so now it's on. And I can pull this cable over here and then attach it just like that. And apparently we can attach more than one on this. And then what we can do is two things. We can either just winch it. Wow, you can really hear the RPMs revving. And I want to get this a little bit closer first. And then we can just drag it out of the woods. And then I can cut it up and process it easier, right? I do want to try two of them, though. I don't know if I'm overdoing it or not. I don't know. All right, so let's stop right there and actually unhook this one again. And I'm going to bring this one down here and see. I think it's going to reach all the way to over here. And then we can pull it next to this one. And then bring both of them back. I'm telling you, where is that dog? I have not seen him yet. Or her.
I'm gonna be a master at this. Oh, okay. I, I was hoping it did not fall in the water. It didn't. Because I don't know how the wood chipper is gonna like water. But I guess it doesn't matter if it's not soaking. Okay, good. So. Let's go ahead and grab the cable. And bring it over here. It does reach. Very good. So worried about the snapping or something. So now we can go ahead and bring this in turbo mode over here. There's two winch speeds, a normal and a fast one. This is the turbo mode. <laughs> Are you stuck on something? Oh boy, oh boy, don't get stuck on that tree, please. Okay, so I think that is close enough. And now I should be able to pull it from here to over there. Yeah, see, now they're cross-linked up. And I have no idea what it's going to do when I try to pull this out of here. Wow, that works like a charm. That is, I think, a lot better than in, in case, uh, instead of going with the skid steer into here and picking up every log, I think I'm going to just bring them over to here and process them all. I'm probably going to get rid of these close trees here next after I loaded these two up. Oh yeah, that works great. We might be able to pick up two at once. I want to try that. I want to try that so bad. Okay, okay, come on, you can do it. All right, so let's stop here for a moment. And... Unhook this one. Unhook this one. And just hook up only that one and try to bring it closer so they're kind of lined up. All right, turbo motor this. All right, so they're pretty even. Unhook this and we can turn you off so it's a little bit quieter and we save some gas. All right, so let's go with... Let's just not make this unmanageable for myself. And let's just go with this cut right there. And that one. And I want to see if I can pick up two of these at once. I have no idea. Let's see, little skid steer, if you can handle this. Not very comfortable in the thing, by the way, because I'm a very tall guy. They don't give you a lot of head, uh, leg room. Oh my god, that's asking for trouble, but we gotta try it. So I'm probably... Whoops, gonna have to... I don't think that works. But who knows? Now I can't. This fork isn't big enough. Oh, that's a bummer. Alright, that's okay. I'll just do them one by one. It's probably better for the machines too. Alright, so this is what I'm going to do here for a couple hours now. And I'll tune in once I made a little bit of progress or like I said... Maybe the trailers are full and then we can go ahead and bring that over to the sawmill and see how much money this is going to make us. So this is taking a little bit too long for my taste here. Um, it's taken forever to load them with the skid steer. So I want to try something different. Is I want to bring the trees, multiples, like three or four at once. And I want to bring them to right about where that tractor is, the front. The, the thick parts and have them going backwards like this. Then cut them all up and toss them in by hand because I think that's gonna be a lot faster and don't forget we're not getting paid by the hour we're getting paid by the load so the more loads I can do in one day the better right but in order to make sure that this thing looks really scary by the way um, but in order to make sure that I have no problems actually bringing the logs here I decided to clear out these few stumps here first um, so turn it on and then bring it down somehow Okay, so that's grinding away the stumps. Because, you know, when I pull the other tree through here, then they might get stuck on this. So what's the... what's this little piece here? 
Wow, we should keep that as a souvenir. <laughs> In with you. Make me money. There we go. Whoops, that side. So we're just gonna grind all of these down here real quick and then I'll bring in a big load like like I said four or five trees from over there and want to see if that's faster. I, I just want to get a I'm, I'm not really sure yet but cutting them up right here and then one by one bringing them in there it's it takes too long I think. Even though I got really good now most of the logs that I put in there um, have been getting grabbed. Wait a second why is this still showing this? Is this trailer full? Let's climb up there. I am not sure. It might be full. See, I don't see the indicator. Is that the indicator there? Because it shows me all the trailers at once. Or was that just... What? I am not sure. Let's uncover the last one as well. Now, that trailer is not full yet. There is no way. There's got to be at least another one in there. All right, but I'm getting sidetracked here. I just saw it keep spitting it out. So there might have been just that portion I needed to move it forward a bit. Okay, let's get rid of this one as well. All right. And there should be at least... What was that? Only three? I've done more. Oh, the trees were back there, the ones I did. And the one over here... Yeah, already ground it down. All right, so let's get this guy out of the way. Right here should be a position that it should not be in my way. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to bring this guy over here and cut down. Um, How far are the cones going? Oh, my. I, oh, my. I, I barely scratched the surface. So I'm going to take... This tree, this one, this one, this one, and that one. So that's five. I'm going to cut these down. And I want them to be falling that way. So the thick end is towards this. All right. So because the thick end is harder to carry. So I want to make sure that um, they're the closest possible to the wood chipper. So let me cut down these five and then we'll see if we can get them over there all at once. If that's doable. Man, I'm making such a mess over here. Uh, this one didn't want to fall at all, and then it fell the wrong way, and now it's stuck in that tree. I was able to clean off the branches. Uh, in this one, I fell across the street here, so I hope nobody's coming down this road. Aye, aye, aye. But let's see if I can get this cable to connect here and maybe pull this guy in a way so it comes out of that tree or not i have no idea let's not go turbo mode let's just winch this oh my goodness <laughs> it's moving the tractor the handbrake is on okay so i'm gonna say okay 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 stop stop moving <laughs> ah let's unhook this one all right i'm gonna just cut this one down like right here and then try to get out of the way quickly it's super dangerous. I got a helmet on. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Alright, might need to do another one. If I can reach it. Right there. Oh, come on! Get out of that tree! Hung up by a tiny branch. Okay, can I carry this one? No, I cannot. Gotta cut it one more time. But it doesn't matter. They don't need to be nice pieces because they're going in the wood chipper. Where you belong. Tree. Alright, look at me. Hercules, Hercules. Let's just toss that right there. Oh, maybe that was the branch problem. Okay, but I can now also cut off that top piece right there that we don't need. Alright, so let's not worry about these small ones here. So I'm going to have to get you connected and then over to you. All right, let's bring these in. I want to bring them flush to this one first. You know what? I, this is going to be a problem with these stumps. All right, let's just winch it in. I might have to remove these stumps first. Or stumps. What do you say? Stumps or stumps? 
I don't know. Yeah, it looks like we need to do this. I'm gonna have to remove this cable so I do not uh, drive over it with the stomp grinder. We're gonna have to get rid of these stumps here first and then try it again. Alright, let's get this one closer first. Two right around here and then I hook all of them up. Hopefully it will work this time. Okay, it does. The other one was probably just trying to bend the tree or something. It didn't actually slide. Let's bring this as close as we can to this one right there. Alright, that's good enough. And I guess we'll hook up this one. That one. That one! Oh my god, I wonder if this is gonna work. And now when I bring it up to here and then hook up this one as well. Let's see if we can do that very carefully. Man, this works like a charm. I love this thing. Right there, stop. Hook this one up. Do I have them all, right? One, two, three. Four. Wait, what? This one is four. Where's the fifth one? Didn't I have five? I got the one from the road? Um. Three, four. Yeah, I don't know. What happened? Maybe I only cut down four instead of five. That's fine. Let's just come to over here and hook up the last one. And now I can bring them all right in front of the wood chippers conveyor belt, cut them in small pieces and toss them in by hand. And I think that's going to save me a lot of time instead of messing around with the... And I'm pretty sure I'm going to get better with this here as well. So like if we come to here. All right. And let's unhook this one and then should unhook all the ones there we go there is still one branch right here somewhere all right let's see and I'm just gonna go mad here cutting and cutting and cutting until I feel like I have all the pieces let's just check if I can carry this one yes I can and learn how to toss Get in there. All right, good. So let me cut up all this and then I'm going to time myself kind of, you know, f trying to figure out how fast I can be with this. And then it's 12 o'clock and I think I'm going to go have a sandwich and an apple or something like that. We need to empty the trailers. Um, so we're going to make our way over to the sawmill. And man, this is so cool. A train of trailers. I like that. Just gonna make sure I have a very large turning radius because I don't want this back tire to hit the the what is that called? The beam that's coming out from underneath that trailer. I, I don't know what you call that. Alright, but let's go over and go ahead and bring this to the sawmill. It's so cool. Also he, um John Cooper told me not to cover the uh, the trailers, because, you know, all the wood is moist, and because we're in full daylight, uh, sunlight, I should say, um, that is going to cost uh, cause them to, you know, lose a lot of the moisture, and then it's going to get trapped underneath the tarp, and then it becomes moldy and nasty and all that stuff, so that's why I'm leaving them open. And we're driving nice and slow, nothing should be able to be blown away by the wind. That is such a nice tractor, man. Let me take a look at this for a second here. Oh, that's a lot of buttons. Joystick, parking brake. I hope we're gonna have one of these on the farm one day. That would be cool. I like this tractor. Also, it's uh, I I like the the the. It doesn't look like a typical tractor if you look at it. You know what I mean? It doesn't have that big um butt. It has it has a big front but a small butt. I don't know. <laughs> I know that's weird. That's very technical. I know. But it's cool. And we're picking up a lot of dust here. So I'm very excited. And don't forget, everything that we're making, I have to pay half of it to John Cooper before we leave here. So I'm going to keep a tally of that, of course. And 
then at the end pay him all at once or if he wants to get paid at night I don't know how that's gonna work yet um, but I'm gonna call him later about that so oh, this is that oh yeah this is where we came from earlier in the morning can't believe it's 1 p.m. and we got the first load so I think I'm gonna be able to get a second load today and I'm not gonna be anywhere near done with that so I might have to spend another day tomorrow but I don't know if it's gonna be then uh, still wood chipping or if he wants me to change that oh, okay they moved everything out of the middle here which makes it easier for me stuff is over there now oh he's in the office his truck is right over there with the trailer That's a massive bridge. Holy moly. Look how big this bridge is. Well, the bridge itself is, what, a third of the roof? Holy moly. Man, that is a look how much stuff there is here. So where do I bring wood chips? Over there? Oh my god, that's going to be horrible to unload. All right, here's where you bring logs. And then the tiny little corner over there for wood chips. Okay. That's going to take some finagling over here. Alright, let's go to the first trailer. And make sure that we have tip side right. Left, right. Let's go to the next trailer. We're going to change that also to the right. And then the last one also to the right okay so i should be able to unload them all to the right hopefully i can get this train through here without having to unhook any of the trailers oh boy okay um yes all right let's unload this And um, they're going to give me a receipt here, so I'm going to have the tally all ready for when we are ready to divvy this up. Okay, so 2600 bucks. That's not bad for just, you know, cutting down trees. I did expect a little bit more. Um, I'm not going to lie, but hey, we got to take what we, what we get, right? It should be, I think the the ones, the two in the back have 2,000 more capacity than the front one. I think about that has 21,000 and the other one 23,000 or vice versa. It looks like identical now. Okay, so hopefully I can get this trailer into the unloading position. Yes, nice. Okay, I was a little bit worried that I need to maybe unhook them. So I think I'm getting the hang of these different trees. Um, I took down a pine spruce these right there these this one behind me is a pine tree and i'm not really sure what the one in front of me is i think it's either an alder or an oak and i don't remember oak being as reddish as this one is so i think this is an alder tree and oh my god that's a pain in the butt that tree it took me like 20 minutes to get all these branches off it's it's really crazy I have one more because you, you look at this. This is so so many knots and 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 bends and whatnot. This is gonna be. I hope there's not a lot of these. Oh, I see more over there. Those are all of these this type of tree. Um, those are really a pain in the butt. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna handle those yet. I mean, look at this, and this is also super heavy. Like I can barely lift these branches that I cut off of this. They look kind of like elephant tusks and stuff, but. Um, yeah, they're super heavy. I just wanted to show you guys this. This is going to be a giant pain in the butt. Um, let's just leave this guy over here for now. Okay, stop moving. And like this one right here, it is super... Yeah, I cannot lift this. This is how heavy this branch is here. Now imagine how heavy this is going to be. This is crazy. But I am starting to see light at the end of the tunnel. Um, you guys can see this right side of the clearing here now. Well, we're making it a clearing. It's not a clearing. It's, it's all going to be done. And then I think I'm going to tackle these five, which we have smaller ones. These are that's, um, pine ones. This is a pine. This is spruce, spruce. Yeah, and then... Oh, God. I got it. Oh, it's outside the cones. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Outside the cone. These are the ones that are so terrible. Outside the cone. Do I have any in here? 
No, oh man, I got lucky. That's the only one within the cone. So, okay. I'll deal with it once, I guess. But there's nothing I can do. This thing is going to be a pain in the butt. I hope I can winch it. That uh, it's actually going to be doable. Now that I have removed these stumps. I'm bringing them closer together again. I just wanted to show you guys that tree over there. And I think on my grass field, or next to the grass field, I have two or three of those. So when we get to our uh, deforest... Or the tree removal. It's not deforesting. The tree removal. Uh, so we can extend our fields. These are going to be my pain in the butt over there. That's going to be quite tough. Especially because I don't have a winch like that. Or anything. So we're going to have to see if we want to invest that. And possibly even plant some saplings. Um, somewhere around our farm. For two purposes. One erosion control. And the other one you know to hopefully make some money. Is this coming any closer over here? Let's turn on the turbo. There it is. Alright. Okay, it's moving up nicely next to the other one. I like that a lot. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to bring these three over. And then I think the the one over there, this this weird one, I'm going to do separately. And was there another? Oh, there's another one right here. Hmm. Ah, I'm going to take it slowly. I'm going to bring these three over and then just come put them in there. And then just do the next three. Oh, got to hook them up first, eh? So let's go. Whoa. On this one, to that one, and then to that one. There we go. All nicely chained up, and we can bring these over there. I like this. This, What is this? A typhoon something um, winch. We're going to have to remember that. I'm sure if I see it in the shop or online, I'm going to know which one it is. So, yeah, that's good. A um, little bit further. And cutting them up by hand, by the way, guys, is, is, is so much faster for me. It really is. And just tossing them on there instead of using the, the, the little skid steer with the with the lock forks and stuff. Let's get rid of this branch here. All right, cool. I think we're gonna bring up the other trees first and then do one. Maybe I'll do more of them. Maybe I'll just bring ten over here or something. Because constantly switching machines and so on. Once I start cutting these up and tossing them in there, I'm getting in a really nice groove. It's quite quickly. Most work is cutting them down, debranching them, and bringing them over here. So I'm going to just bring this one separately first. And I don't know what I'm going to do with the... Build all those branches here. Um, if I'm going to hook them up and drag them as... Why not? Let's just hook them up. Drag all this hot mess over there at once. So I don't need to... There's another one. I cannot even lift this branch here. Obviously, how heavy is this stuff? Wow. This one is hooked up. Let's see if we can get it all. Um, let's just test it. We're always, we're always doing science stuff, right? How about you as well? You right there. Um, the tractor's going to explode. <laughs> this is going to be a lot of weight. Okay, do I have them all? All right. Yeah, this this one over here I'm going to bring separate for sure. Let's just see if we can pull this out. That would be amazing if I can get that closer to over there. Oh, we forgot one. Where you at? All right there. I think I got them all now. And I did move, which is a huge plus. Okay, what did I forget in the ground here? What are you? Oh, you're just a disc. Here, I'm going to hide you right there. Nobody will ever see you. Wow, the tractor has to pull so hard. This is seriously tough for it. And I'm probably going to get stuck on that spruce tree right there. Something is dragging in the far right. Come on, please don't get stuck. Just deal with it come on yes let's rip right through there let's bring this as close as i can this is gonna be this is gonna take ages i might actually use the skid steer to load up the this big one here in like three pieces or something like that because otherwise i'm gonna have to make like thin slices in, in order to to do that all right let's bring it to right there and then we can unhook the master there we go I mean, what's the deal? I cannot lift this. How is this a thing? 
What's this made out of? Cement? Yeah, this is it. I gotta cut everything this small. So, if you think about it, get in there. I want to see how small of a slice I need to cut from this. Let's just start with this. Look how hard the chainsaw needs to fight to get through there. Yeah, I cannot cut this. I cannot carry this. So let's cut it down in the middle. I want to see how small because... I mean, if this piece is get any smaller, then... I, that's going to be crazy. I might as well just chew it down here. Okay, so this is it. This is the slices I would have to make. Alright, enough talking here. I got lots of work to do. Oh, don't get in all the way. How full is the first trailer again? Let's check. Oh, over half full already. Alright, we're going to have a couple of trips. I'm getting close to having all the logs over there. I decided to cut down all the trees first. You guys can see the whole clearing now. And then I uh, used the stump grinder to remove all the ones, the, all the stumps from my trees. There's more in the marsh, but... I'm not touching those and now I am here and I'm gonna pull these last couple of logs I hope I can pull them two over there so I'm gonna try to turn around somehow I'm not sure how that's gonna be doable but I hope I can and bring all of these logs over there and then I have all the logs in the air because my thinking is that you know it's uh, almost 3 p.m. and I still have Probably I'm gonna have to move that cone back <laughs> uh, Let's do that right now before I forget um, You know because once I'm out of daylight, I don't want to be out here and I don't want to have to um, Cut trees and you'll know, use the storm grinder when you can see it's gonna be too tough when it's night And I am predicting that I'm gonna work until the late night um, because I want to get this done, this whole clearing here. That was kind of my goal, and I underestimated how long it's going to take. So now I just have to make up the time, and I think I'm going to come around the inside over there. These things are moving really weird. But those are just, you know, giant logs with this chain. Yeah, I should be able to get it over there. Because then at night, I can turn on, you know, some tractor lights over here, and I just need to cut and throw it under the chipper and bring it over to the sawmill. I can drop off all night. That's not a problem. Um, onto that pile, the wood chips. So, yeah, look at how many trees there are. That's that's gonna be bananas. And I hope I can get this around. Then I want to show you guys one more thing. What I've been doing here. Yep. Yeah, let's just move it to right there. Okay. Good. Because I've been using the back here. You guys see, it's much lower. And I've been using that to push these piles together. Let's try that one more time, even though I got this one funky one above it. But right here, just slowly backing into... I mean, it's already quite clean, the pile here. This one is bugging me a little bit. So maybe... Oh, yeah, I can barely move it. But the closer I get it, the f less walking I have to do, right? All right, that's as good as it's going to be right there. So perfect. So now, you know, because it's going to be night eventually, I'm going to take another break here shortly. I'm going to be able to like put the tractor right here and turn on the lights. And that's going to make it very easy for me to see and whatnot. For now, of course, I'm going to leave it off. Um, and then also the, the little skid steer loader lights and I can even detach this guy right here. So I have the last trailer going here. Well, it's probably only like one and a half more trees. And then this thing is full, maybe two trees. And then we're gonna... What is running? Oh, I never turned this guy off. Let's save the gas. I don't need it anymore either because all the stumps are gone. So, we're gonna get to, you know, first one here and keep filling so we can get a couple more trailer loads and see how, man how many we're gonna get all together before I go to sleep tonight. Hey guys, I'm over here unloading the third load of the day. This is the third one. It's almost 7.30 p.m. now. I'm working really hard. I'm getting very tired. And on my way back, I'm going to stop at that store over there real quick. It kind of looks like a garage, but they also have some a little kitchen inside that makes food for all the workers in the area. That is pretty inexpensive from what they told me. Um, but yeah, so the price has gone down already a little bit. So I'm not getting as much for these loads anymore. Yeah, it's about uh, $200 less now. 
It was on the last one already. This is the same price that I had on... Ooh, don't drive over these logs here. And let's get the next one. Come on. There we go. Yeah, so it's almost dark and I only have a little bit of log left. I, I'm gonna say maybe five, six. I, I didn't count them, so... I'm gonna have one more... Probably a trailer and a half or something like that. And then I am done. I'm, I'm very proud that I got this done today. Because it, it was a lot of work. I'm, I'm super tired. I am sore already. I'm gonna be hurting tomorrow. But that is fine. Hopefully tomorrow we're gonna do something else. And if not, well, it's only gonna make me tougher, right? For when we get back to the farm. And we need to do this over there. But I wanna just drive back there with you guys. Well, I'm gonna stop at the grocery store first here. I call it a grocery store. At the little deli there. Alright, there we go. So, I turned on the hazard lights because, you know, with the sun being low and whatnot, I want to make sure that people actually see me. This is a long train. It takes a while to stop and slow down when it's full. That's a lot of weight. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to stop right over here. So, I'm out of the way. And I, 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 it would be impossible to drive the thing backwards, I think. All right, so let's stop right here. I'm going to let the truck run. I'm just going to run in here and pick something up. Hey, thanks so much, okay? i see you tomorrow in the morning. I actually sat down inside and had my... It was a breaded chicken um, sandwich with some potato salad and a soda. And I, it was really delicious. It only cost a few bucks. I'm, I'm quite surprised. But then again, I, I think it would be very unfair if they, you know, charge a lot of money here because there's nothing else in the area. You're going to drive like an hour to get out of this forest before you find another town or something. So now let's head back there so I can show you guys um, what we have left. Oh my god, look how dirty this truck is. Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to wash all this stuff before I go to bed because I got nothing else to do. You know, browse the web a little bit or something before I go to sleep. Now I'm full. Um, there is no shower in that trailer, but there's a big um, tin bucket or whatever that is. A big thing outside that I'm going to fill with water and just really wash up nicely. and It's, it's going to be fine. Tomorrow I'm going to go in the same clothes and go working again. So uh, it's not going to be that big of a deal. And then when I get home to the farm in two or three days, I don't know when that is going to be exactly. You know, then I'm, I don't know, maybe take a day off and soak in the bath. We'll see. All right, let's get back over here and put this back into position. And this time I'm actually going to turn on all the lights so I can see very nicely. Turn off the hazards though. I don't want the blinking the whole time. And like I said, you guys see there's not much... Actually, that is two, four, six, two, four, six, eight logs, it looks like. Left, which is fine. As long as I don't need to have another trip, I'm okay with it. Oh, yeah, there's a little bit here. Alrighty, very cool. So I can turn it off. The lights are going to run on the battery. And then I'm also going to come over here. Turn this guy's lights on. Perfect. That's nice and bright. That should be enough light around here for me to get everything done. And if needed, I could also turn on the lights from this guy. But yeah, so I think this is it for today, guys. I'm only going to empty this one more time. And then um, I'm going to do the books and the tally with the receipts and everything overnight. And then tomorrow I'll let you know how much money we actually owe uh, John Cooper and how much money we're going to keep. And then we'll see tomorrow morning. John said he's going to stop by. Um, I wonder if he actually expected me to finish all of this today or if he thought, you know, being a city boy that just started recently working on a farm that this is going to take me a lot longer. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this a little bit different next time. I hope that we're going to do something else. No more wood chips. But I don't know what else there is to do in the area. I'm sure he's going to tell me. But yeah, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in tomorrow in the next vlog. Okay. Take care, stay safe, and bye-bye.